Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. I have five pressure washers. Apparently I'm a little bit of a hoarder. Today I'm going to show all y'all my new pressure washer. Beats the crap out of all these. I'll tell you what. None of those pressure washers are anywhere near adequate for cleaning my driveway. It just takes way too long. So here's what I bought. Commercial grade BE pressure washer, a Whirl Away flat surface cleaner, uh, and also a 4000 PSI turbo nozzle. We're going to try all this stuff out today. If you're curious about these products, I have links for you right in the description and the pinned comment of this video. Click on those links and check it out. Let's start with the pressure washer itself, shall we? There are certain features that uh, popped out to me right taking this out of the box. I'm going to take you through that right now. Uh, let me break it down for you. First of all, the model number for this is, again, it's a BE pressure washer. The model number is right there along the bottom of your screen. First thing that popped out to me was Honda engine. It's a real Honda engine. It's a GX390. It's not a Honda clone. 13 horsepower. Um, that in itself is, is awesome. The next thing I noticed right out of the box was flat free tires. You have no idea what a benefit that is. You know those pressure washers I showed you at the beginning there? The air fuel tired ones? At least one or both of them are flat. I love flat free tires. Let's look at the pump for a second. It's a ZW, it's a Comet commercial pump, a ZWD 4040, which means it's 4,000 PSI, four gallons per minute. That's 16,000 cleaning units on this. Here's the other thing on this. I just love this. This is a true sign of a commercial grade pump, in my opinion. Have a look at that right there. That's the unloader. A lot of pumps have a built-in unloader. It's built into the pump, so if your unloader becomes faulty, then you have to change the whole pump or get into it and just rip everything apart to fix it. Now, this isn't a, a, you just unscrew this unloader if something goes wrong with it and just screw another unloader on there and you're done. On the unloader part there, see this big black knob? 4,000 PSI, four gallons a minute is too high for washing some things like uh, plastic patio furniture, washing your vehicles, whatnot. You can just unscrew that knob down and it takes the pressure down, down, down. So you can just use it lightly if you want to. Check this out. Here's April washing my truck. I'm filming her out there washing my truck and my jerk neighbor pokes his head up over the fence and he sees what's going on, and he yelled at me. He said, hey, Steve, you should be hung. I said, I am. That's why she's washing my truck for me. And obviously it comes with the wand, you know, with the interchangeable tips. You got your uh, soper nozzle. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. It actually comes with that. You just pop it in there, extends it chemical injection, soap injection, whatever you want to call that. And uh, the other tips it comes with is your, uh, your red one, which is a straight nozzle, your white one, which is 40 degrees, your yellow one, which is 15 degrees, comes with all those. And of course, rubber pressure hose. All right, let's move on to the rotary turbo nozzle that I got from B Pressure Washers. Two things actually stood out for me on this one. Um, before we get into that there, the part number, the BE pressure washer part number is right there at the bottom of your screen. Before we get into that one, uh, let's talk about this old one right here. Ceramic pieces in here that are loose. My microphone's up here, listen to this. You hear that? That's the ceramic piece in there rattling around. On these old ones, 
they stated it outright. I actually did a video on this too, where <clears throat> you have to start it. You have to make sure that ceramic piece is down like that. Then you can start the gun and use it however you want once the water's going through. The reason for that is, is because that loose piece in there drops, if you have it held up like this, and the, pour, and the uh, ceramic piece pops down and you pull the trigger, it smacks that uh, ceramic piece up into another piece of ceramic and you can actually smash the end out of there doing that. Now, here is the new BE pressure washer one. It has a filter on it, that one doesn't. I love that, it says right on there, you can take it apart and clean it as needed. And also, it says right on the packaging, Spring-loaded nozzle can be started in any position. Nothing loose in there. And look at that block that April just cleaned right there. Side by side. That took her seconds to do that. What a difference. I love rotary nozzles. All right, moving on to the whirl away, the flat surface cleaner for my driveway. I'm dying to try this out. 20 inch whirl away from BE pressure washers. Uh, a couple things popped out at me right out of the box. Here's the first one. It's got a grease nipple right here. You can maintain that spindle on there with putting grease in there. Oh, I know Steve. Oh, you can't say nipple on YouTube. You're gonna get banned. Well, guess what? It's a freaking grease nipple. The other thing that you're gonna notice on this, it's got no wheels on it. It doesn't matter for this one. I have a 4,000 PSI pressure washer, four gallons per minute. Let's look under here. It's spinning this thing around. Uh, two nozzles here. I believe that they are 25 degree nozzles on here. It spins around and it is powerful enough to actually make this thing freaking hover. It lifts this brush part right off the ground about a quarter of an inch and it makes it hover. B pressure washers also makes some with wheels on it because if your pressure washer is not quite powerful enough to, to make that hover, then you do need the one with the wheels on it. They sell those too. Again, check the links in the description. Look what April just did with just cleaning that one patch. We let it dry for a little bit so we could see the difference. What a difference. Look at that. Man. So all in all, I am super happy with this BE pressure washer stuff. I have been dealing with BE pressure washers for years and years and years with buying their stuff, selling it in stores, dealing with their warranty, dealing with the tech line. I've phoned the tech line a few times in my past there where, and they were so awesome. I was like, I'm having problems with fixing this uh, BE pressure washer for you. Can you give me some advice here? Boom, done, email back the next day. This is a very professional company and um, I don't know what to say about that. Don't forget to click the links in the description and the pinned comment. And I think I got nothing more to say about that. Cheers, Steve out.